What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and in today's video I'm bringing to you part 3 of my AO Tennis 2 gameplay. This is me playing as Nick Kyrgios versus Danny Medvedev. And um, funny enough, like I said in my in my previous video, uh, Kyrgios did face Medvedev in the second round of the Australian Open this year. Which unfortunately, um, even though despite his 2-0 and record against Medvedev at the time, Medvedev was a much better player, and uh, he came out with the uh, the win. So it's two to one now, and you know Medvedev came very close to winning the Australian Open this year. Medvedev is a very uh, strong player to be reckoned with, but um, but instead uh, that the Australian Open this year went to none other than Rafael Nadal in a crazy crazy five set match it was insane in the beginning it really didn't look like um like if you haven't watched the match um basically uh you know nadal has not won the australian open since 2009 and he's 35 now and so and for years it always frustrated him how he came so close to winning uh the australian open back in 2012 when he faced novak djokovic he had a chance but then he lost it and then same thing in 2017 when he faced uh, roger federer but then and he had he had the lead in the fifth set but then he lost it so now coming down to this year 2022 australian open this time didn't have to worry about Federer because he's dealing with a uh, knee, knee injury recovery. Didn't have to deal with Novak Djokovic because, well, he wasn't in the tournament and we all know what happened there. But so the only real uh, opponent he had to deal with this year was Danny Medvedev. Now, uh, overall, like Nadal has a very good, uh, a very good record against. Uh, Against Danny, against Danny Medvedev, he's four and one. Well, he was three and one, and but then because of the, thanks to the the win at the Aussie Open, he's now four and one. Uh, so great record, right? Even though they haven't faced that many times, right? But that Medvedev was a much, much stronger player now, because the previous year before. When it looked like Djokovic was going to win the calendar slam all four majors in a row within within the year, Medvedev was the one to stop Djokovic in his tracks at the U.S. Open. And with that uh, momentum, it really looked like he was going to steal the Australian Open for the third time from Rafael Nadal because he started with a two-set lead in the first two sets so he was 2-0 and already and it looked like it was that it was just going to be over because Rafael Nadal in a major has never come back from a 2-0 and set deficit since 2007 so for a lot of people it looked like it was all over I, I even remember in the third set the the votes as far as who was going to win uh, in the beginning, I believe it, it was only around maybe 36% for uh, for Nadal, and it was whatever the percentage was for, for <laughs> Medvedev left, and then it dropped down to 4% only in the third set for Nadal, only 4%, so people were highly doubting that Nadal would actually come back, especially given he was 35, and he's playing against 25-year-old. Danny Medvedev, who's probably at the peak of his athleticism right now, but amazingly enough, Nadal somehow turned it around. He ended up winning uh, the next two sets, and then coming into the fifth and final set, he had a break up, and he was serving for the match, but then. He, he scares us for a moment because Medvedev ends up breaking uh, breaking uh, Nadal. So it goes to uh, 
it goes to 5-5. Five, five. Medvedev serves the next game. And incredibly, Nadal manages to break him again. So, lucky for him, he gets a second chance. And so, he's now it's now 6-5. And thankfully for all the Nadal fans, he manages to hold off. And he wins the final set, final fifth set, 7-5 incredible just absolutely incredible and of course Rafael Nadal finally clenched his second Australian Open win which means he was the he was finally able to achieve a double uh, career Grand Slam something that um, uh, Djokovic has also attained uh, but not even Federer has attained um, it's pretty remarkable stuff and so now, with this Australian Open win, he is now currently in the lead for the all-time record for uh, for the tennis uh, Grand Slam majors. He is in the lead right now by one, with 21 Grand Slam wins, with uh, Djokovic and Federer not that far behind at 20. Now, what will this mean going down the road? Because I mean, the next. The next major is the French Open, which we all know is Nadal's dominance a major. He's won it 13 times now, M more than any other player has in for any major. And jo with Djokovic, um, you know, possibly being banned from the French Open because of his unvaccination, and with Federer going to be out because of his injury, what's going to happen? And who's going to be the GOAT? That'll be a commentary in the near future coming your way soon. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my future videos. Peace out, guys.